Hi there, this is Angry Math Dude slash Alex Dude. Uh, today I'll be doing a tutorial about how to get some points on inbox dollars. Uh, there's better ways of doing it, but this is just my way of my routine. So I'll show you. The very first thing that's easiest is doing the paid emails. So that's the first routine is paid emails. And you do it by clicking on the uh, mailbox, the envelope. And so you'll see over here, it says confirm paid email. So it's actually really easy. When you click on this, I'll show you. When you click on this, you'll get credit for the, this top scratch and win. Usually what I'll do is I'll just do one to three because if you do one paid email, you'll get this single bar that went up to $10. But if you, what do you call it? If you do three paid emails, you'll get credit for this $2 one, which is up to $25. So I'll do either this one or this one. But anyways, since I only have credit up to here, I'm gonna go and scratch. And usually you only win one penny. If you did this one, the second one, you only get three pennies. So that's the first task you can do. So do the paid emails if you can. And you can see I'm already done over here, there's no more. The next t task I'll t tell you about is the daily list. It's over here in the top right. So if you just do five daily tasks, you'll get five cents. And they're actually really easy. So what I'm saying is, uh, the one of them is called daily activity. And that's done by installing the Billy button over here. Let me see if I can find it. This is the link for the extension. And it takes you to this Chrome page for the Billy button. Install it and then you'll have the Billy button over here and automatically for your daily tasks. So sorry about that, I went really quick. But you can go to this page where it talks about the Billy button for uh, inbox dollars. If you click on add Billy button, it takes you to this page and just install it. And hopefully it shows up on the top right. When you do that, when you check daily list, it'll say daily activity. So that knocks off one of the four daily activities you can, you should try to do. Answer learn is really easy. It's just a, a quick survey. And when you do that, it actually gives you credit for scratch and win, or it'll give you two cents. So over here, it says, thanks, you're in scratch and win progress. So that's pretty nice. And then I do the next one, which is add a magic receipt offer. And that's easy. I just find one, you know, a, a receipt that I might want to get. Like over here, here's eggs. Add it to there. And now, if I refresh the page, I've already done three tasks, and I just have to finish two more. So what I do is I do deal of the day. Again, this is just another add deal of the day, and I have I don't have to do anything. And now I'm just one offer away, one task away from getting five cents. So the last one I usually do is earn from offers because that one's easy too. When it takes me over here, the easier one to do is just to do 100% free offers. And actually that goes to the next task. So I told you about two routines that that you do. One is paid emails, the next is da the daily list. So you look at my total, I started off at 15 cents, I'm at 16 cents. As soon as I complete this daily list, the five tasks, I'm gonna get five cents immediately for that. So I'm looking for a penny task. Okay, over here I see this, I'm gonna right click, open a new tab. And then when you get to a page like this, you still have to click on one of the links because it's gonna do a search. It's loading a request. And once it's done, hopefully it gives you credit for the one penny. So even though you clicked on this and it loaded this page, sorry about that, I'll do it again. Even you clicked on this page and it loaded this page, you still have to click one more because you have to actually view the offer. But again, let's go back to here. Uh, let me go back to the main one. If I refresh the page and I go to daily list, I still haven't earned my offer, so sometimes it doesn't record. So I'm still in offers 100% free. 
I'm going to try to look for another offer. I'm going to go into this one. I'm going to refresh the page. And you can see it went from 16 cents to 22 because I got paid that one point that one cent, and then I actually finished my daily task. So if you can finish your daily tasks, five of them, you automatically get five cents. So now I'm at, what do you call it? Five, six, I've earned seven cents. Not much, I know, but it's really quick. Uh, I'll go back to earn 100% free offers over here. So, Go through all of the one, two cent ones, and that'll get you five, maybe 10 cents. So over here, one cent, one cent. I'm not sure why it's acting up, but. But go through all the one cent offers. So let me do one more just to show you. These ones are a little more difficult. Uh, there are some one cent offers where you don't have to do anything. Let me go to the end over here, see if I can find. I don't see any easy one to send offers. Here's a two cent offer I can do. So click on that. Usually I look at the ad or something, but anyways, I was at 22 cents. Hopefully it's gone up. I'm at 24 cents now. So those are the three tasks you can do. Uh, the fourth one I'm going to mention is um, doing the Twitter win it code over here where you click on more. There's a win it button. So this is an easy two cents and you just have to go onto their Twitter site. So let me close all this stuff here on Twitter. During the day, they'll post a win it code. You see over here, if I just copy, it changes daily. Uh, and sometimes they don't have it when it codes on the weekend. But if I paste this code, and it's obviously never working for me. Congratulations, you won two cents. Easy, right? So now I'm going to refresh the page. 26 cents, and I started the day at 15 cents. And I... I can still complete my routine number three, which is to, what do you call it? Do the offers 100% free for the one cent offers. I haven't completed that, but I've already earned 11 cents. Um, the last routine, uh, let me see, is it the fourth routine or the, the last routine I'm gonna talk about is doing web searches. Do you actually get reward for web searches? So let's say I do like, I wanna know movie times. And you see over here, it says scratch and win. So for every four searches you make, you might win a complete scratch and win. So let's say Fandango. You shouldn't do these searches too quickly. Uh, otherwise you'll get very little credit for them. Uh, you can wait around two to four seconds, uh, but just use it normally. You don't want to get flagged for uh, fake searches. And so I, let's say I want to watch uh, Tom Cruise. And you can see the bar is at half right now. It doesn't update just yet. Let me go refresh the page. Even though I've completed a scratch and win, I'm going to refresh the page and you'll see that 
now the bar is moved over. On a good day, you can get, you know, one complete search. I mean, one complete scratch and win. But if you do it really quickly, they might only reward you partial scratch and win. So, I mean, the more you do it, the more you'll figure out what kind of credit you'll get. But I earned another penny over here. And so you can do that. Uh, you can do like 20 searches, maybe 25 searches, and get the scratch about five or six times. Or you can do this thing maybe five or six times. I could be wrong, maybe just four. But you can try it out. It'll tell you when you hit the max number of searches. But if you do those five tasks, you may earn at least like, 10 to 20 points because I'm already at 12, 12 cents but I'm pretty confident I could get up to 20 cents or 25 cents if I complete all these tasks so and like over here I used up all my paid e emails but sometimes you get a lot of paid emails so I'll go through the list again so first do paid emails that lets you do scratch and wins the next thing is to do your daily list that will give you five cents. And then from the daily list, you can do your earned offers. 100% free, try doing the one or two cent offers. When you do this one cent offer, just remember if it loads to this page where it says, look at this offer or something, explore these options, you still need to click one more time to get credit for it because it's going to do this loading thing. Then you're going to get possibly the one cent. So I was at 27 cents. Let's see if I go to 28 cents. I didn't. Or maybe you might get credited later. Um, so that was three tasks, I believe. And then the fourth one is your Twitter. Go into the Twitter site, you know, bookmark the Twitter, and then copy the Winit code, and go to more Winit. Put in your win it code and you'll probably two cents or you get scratch and win uh, credit. And finally, the fifth task that I'll, I mentioned is doing searches. So, ABBA. Yeah, don't forget to move it to web. Search. Oh, let's see. See, I completed it. Even though you complete the scr scratch and win, the bar doesn't update well. So, you can click on the home button. And you can see I got credit for one scratch and win. And also, you can see what it was at 27 cents earlier. I got credit for my one point later on. It might not happen immediately. So, or maybe I'm wrong. So, that's my story. I got 14 cents credit so far, and I just need to complete my task. And that's it. Um, if you'd like to use my recommendation link, you're more than welcome to. Hopefully they don't ban me, but I am just, just wanted to show people how to use inbox dollars. Have a good one.